Stay-at-home orders uh, have been implemented across Colorado by the governor in an attempt to maximize social distancing, to minimize the amount of contact we have with each other. These are really disruptive. They require all of us to take extreme measures. And frankly, for some people whose jobs are put on hold or even lost, or whose business is impacted, this, we understand, is extraordinarily hurtful. Um, the one thing I would say is the reason we're doing this is that we face the situation of going up rapidly in our outbreak, which has the potential of making a lot more people sick real fast, of making our health care systems potentially buckle and fail. And what buckling and failing means is they can't take care of every sick person. Some live, some die. We absolutely don't want to see what's happened in northern Italy, and it's just about to happen in a place like New York City, happen here. There are a number of programs that have been set up. Congress just passed a $2 trillion uh, uh, package to try to provide relief for small businesses and individuals that have been impacted by this. As far as I can tell, it's very helpful, but not enough. I'm not a small business person. I know there's a lot of pain. But I think that with federal action, and frankly state action, the governor's taken some action as well, we ought to be able to come up with approaches that allow people to sustain themselves during these very challenging times. I would also note that we want these social distancing measures, stay-at-home stuff, to go on for as short a period of time as possible. We don't want to release them so quickly or too quickly that we lose any benefit of the pain we've already gone through. And yet, of course, we don't want them to go on any longer than we need to. What we're going to try to do is to Goldilocks get it just right with the realization that once our hospitals are more capable of dealing with surges, that we could pull back on some of these orders with the idea that if things begin to get worse again, we might have to reinstitute them. So they're necessary to reduce transmission and protect the hospitals. They're hurtful. We want to try to right-size how long they go on as best we can.